What's good, everybody? Hit your boy JD back with another NBA 2K24 exact player build. And in today's video, we're going to be doing our best to replicate Shaquille O'Neal, the diesel himself. We're going to be trying to take Shaquille O'Neal's attributes from his NBA 2K24 player card and plug them into the builder to try to replicate a Shaquille O'Neal build. So let's head over to the builder and check it out. All right, so here we are over in the NBA 2K24 player cards. As you can see for Shaquille O'Neal, uh, the player that we're trying to replicate in this one, he's got a few different player cards, whether you want to go like Orlando Magic Shaq, um, you know, you, you got like three different versions of the Lakers Shaq, and then you've got one for the Miami Heat Shaq here too. So, um, you know, Miami Heat Shaq was still pretty good, obviously, obviously after he started moving around to some of the other teams. Um, you know, maybe not quite as good there. If we we're gonna look for like the most prime uh, Shaq type of a, a creation, I think it's probably this one right here. This is like the the Kobe era, uh, you know, Shaq with the Lakers, the age 28. He's a it's his highest overall. He's 97 overall. I'm gonna show you these stats. Shaq was a really tough one to try to replicate into the builder, but let's go ahead and look at these stats here. You can see 7'1", 325. So obviously, big dude. Um, you know, looking at some of his finishing, obviously is going to be crazy. Uh, 78 driving layup, 99 standing dunk, which you might expect for like a Shaq build. 79 driving dunk, which actually kind of surprised me um, that his driving dunk was, you know, that high. 98 on the close shot, you know, not too surprising there. Obviously, being a, a big man on the on the inside, um, you know, when you look down here with the shooting, 35 mid range, 26 three ball, no surprise there. The only thing Shaq really did in the mid range was some of them little, uh, you know, like hook shots and, and things like that. He wasn't wasn't going to be shooting the ball all that much. 52 free throw, not again, not too surprising there. Shaq not a very good free throw shooter, um, but you see that that little post hook I was talking about, um, you know, 97 post control in general is going to be a 98. And then when you go down here, you look at the playmaking: 77 pass accuracy, 64 ball handle, and 42 speed with ball. So I think we're going to be able to work with some of these stats. We might not be able to get the ball handle quite up as high as we need to, being on a, a pure inside of that size. But we're definitely going to see what we can do. Um, you know, and then moving down here to the defense, you see in the 95 interior, 49 perimeter, 74 steel, 95 on the block. So obviously really nice blocking ability. And then, as you would expect, really solid rebounding. And then last but not least, moving down to the physicals, you see the speed, the acceleration, you know, in the 70s, 99 strength on a Shaq build, you know, as he's doing the big booty, sh you know, back downs and drop stepping on the end, you know, you'd expect to have a, a 99 strength on there, 80 vertical, and then the 98 stamina. So let's head over to the builder. We're going to do the best we can to try to replicate one of these Shaquille O'Neal builds, and we'll see which one we get shades of at the end. So let's head over there now. All right, so here we are over in the builder. Um, Shaq does not have a template build, so we're going to go uh, right-handed we're gonna go, go jersey number 32 we're gonna go center position we're gonna go seven foot one just like Shaq did and we're gonna go 258 on our build I know Shaq was listed at 335 um, but we're gonna need to have a, just a little bit of speed on ours so we're gonna go 258 and then I'd like to max out the wingspan at 711 but I'm gonna go seven foot ten just so I can get that 96 strength that we're looking for on this build. You could up the weight a little bit more if you wanted to as well. Um, just really all up to you what you want to do. But for this particular one, we're going to go with these here. Um, as you can see, I'd started this and then I had to back out because I forgot to go down one on my wingspan. So we're down here, starting on the physicals, you can go 55 on the speed, 47 on the acceleration, 96 on the strength. You can see that's going to get you gold brick wall. The Hall of Fame Bulldozer, Hall of Fame Immovable Enforcer, definitely you know Shaq-esque type things there. On Shaq's vertical, uh, he had an 84 for this one. We're gonna go up to 70. I'd like to go higher again. It's just trying to get all the attributes and trying to create some of these superstar type type builds. You know, you gotta give a little in some of these areas. And then down here on the stamina, he had a 98. We're gonna go 95 on ours, so that you know if you are sprinting around, being that you're gonna be a little heavier and everything you're not running out of stamina too fast so that's what we're gonna do down here on the um, on the physical side of things so we're gonna start with the uh, shooting and the playmaking here just because those are kind of like the, the lesser stats I guess of this 
Um, making a Shaq build, he had 37, I believe 40, 42, I think it was, on his mid-range, 25 on the three ball. Um, you know, again, we're not going to be able to do too much here. Uh, because of where our, our close shot and stuff goes, I think we can we can go up to 28 on our mid-range. Nothing in our three ball, and then the free throw is going to go up to a 51. Um, you know, Shaq not being the greatest free throw shooter, so we're going to leave it right at 51. So you're really not going to get anything here on the shooting side of things, which is not a surprise. This is more of a post scorer inside big type of a build. Uh, moving down to the pass accuracy, Shaq had, I think, a 79. For this build, we're going to go 76 on ours. And then for the playmaking, we're going to bump it up to a 45. Um, you know, again, we're not doing anything with the speed of the ball. Nothing, you know, overpowering here. Would I like to get the pass accuracy up into the 80s? Most definitely would. But because we have to put so much into the finishing and the defense and the strength to make it a Shaq type build, this is kind of what we have to work with. So, you know, if you want to mess, move it around a little bit, you know, like I've said with some of these other builds, you know, we try to stay as true to form to the actual player as possible and not necessarily making like the most competitive or more comp type build. So this is what we're going to do here. 76 on the pass accuracy, which it does give you silver break starter, uh, silver dimer, silver relay passer and special delivery. So, you know, when you do catch the rebound, you are going to be able to get a fairly clean, um, you know, animation throwing the ball off the court, you know, especially if you're just playing like wreck or whatever. If you're going to play Pro-Am, obviously you might want to tweak this a little bit and, and make a little bit more of a, a competitive style build. But if you're just truly looking to replicate Shaq, you can definitely get by with these numbers. Um, so let's go up here to the finishing, because obviously being an inside big, the finishing and the defense are going to be the two things that stand out the most. Um, Shaq had a 97 on his close shot. This one I went back and forth with a lot on what to do. This might be an unpopular thing, but again, to try to get some of these other attributes, I went 68 on my close shot. Um, that got us bronze masher and bronze feelers finisher. Does get us pro touch up there a little bit, not as high as I would like to get it. Um, it's only on silver, so 68 on the close shot. Um, for our driving layup, uh, he had a... a I believe like an 89 driving layup again it's just one of those things where we had to give up somewhere we're going to take it up to a 50 which is going to be enough to get some decent uh animations and layups are kind of broken in this game anyway so if you are kind of driving to the hoop you're going to have a nice clean you know driving layup as long as you're not doing anything you know super contested or anything like that for the driving dunk we're going to leave it at 55 i believe that'll still get you the shaquille o'neal uh animations so you know, still have a little bit of driving dunk on there, but again, we needed to get some of these other attributes on there. Shaq had a 98 standing dunk, and we're going to take that up to a 92. So you're going to get all of the big man contact dunks on this. You're going to have gold fast twitch. You're going to have gold rise up. So even though we don't have a super high close shot, because we have the 92 standing dunk, you are going to be able to, to get those quick dunks off and everything. And then you're also going to have the gold precision dunker. So with the under basket um, big man like contact dunks the meter dunks and everything you know they go crazy in nba 2k24 having the, the gold precision dunker with the 92 standing dunk and all of the big man contact dunk animations you're definitely going to be able to do some shack esque things down there and when you combine that with what he had was a 98 um on his post control we're actually going to go up to 95 I know 92 is the threshold for gold and pluckable, but I went 95 because what would a Shaq build be without Hall of Fame back down punisher and Hall of Fame drop stepper? You guys remember the clip where he pushed the dude out of the way on the drop step after doing a nasty poster dunk, so we definitely had to put the Hall of Fame drop stepper and the Hall of Fame back down punisher on here. With that 95 post control, like I said, it does get you the gold and pluckable. Also gets you Hall of Fame post fin technician as well, so like when you have your finishing takeover on this and you get somebody down on the post you get some crazy uh animations when you have that hall of fame drop stepper and the hall of fame post bin technician i mean you literally just chuck that guy out of the way so definitely gonna be really nice to have on this shack esque type build uh, you know just to throw in a couple other things you do get bronze hook specialist so having the the pro touch you, you start gonna be able to do some of those little baby hooks down in the post and everything like that um, and then you get that silver dream shake and the silver post playmaker as well. So really nice finishing here, emphasizing on the standing dunk and the post control being a shack type build. If I could get some of the driving dunk and layup up higher, I definitely would try to do that. But this is what we are working with. So moving lastly down here to the defensive side of things, 
Um, Shaq had a 92 interior. Again, these superstars are so hard to replicate. I'm going to take the interior up to 77 for now. And then we're going to take a look at this. Um, the perimeter defense, I think he had in the 50s. We're just going to bump it up to a 43. And he had a 55 steal. So much like one of the, I think I'm, I'm working on a wilt build too. I was kind of back and forth. He had a steal like right around the 50s as well. It was either try to get up to 60 to get bronze interceptor. Or I save those points on steel because steel is so expensive in 2k24 so I could put those in other places so for this build I have far gone the steel so that way we could put some of these other attributes up as high as we needed to um, Shaq had a I think an 89 block we're gonna take that up to a 92 so that we could get the gold anchor you can see with the 77 interior where I will get gold anchor on this having the 92 block you're also going to get Silver Pogo Stick and the Bronze Chase Down Artist. So we're going to be able to lock, unlock some of those Chase Down animations. Then lastly, moving down to the rebounding side of things. I believe Shaq had a right around 90. It was like 88-89 on both of his offensive and, and defensive rebounds. Now we're going to give a little bit on the offensive side of things so we can have a nice solid defensive rebound. We're going to go 77 on the offensive side. And then we're going to go 92 on the defensive side of things. I'm going to see here, now that I look at this, if we can maybe back this down. How We can back this down to a 74 and back this up to a 93. So I think I like that a little bit better because that's going to get us the Hall of Fame box out beast. So hopefully I still get the same shades and everything as I'm, as I'm doing this kind of on the fly a little bit for you. But the 93 defensive rebound will get you the Hall of Fame box out beast. Along with that 98 strength, you're definitely going to be able to hold a box out. You're going to be able to, to worm around your opponents and whatnot to be able to get, you know, boards. You have the gold rebound chaser as well. So you're definitely going to be able to snag. You're definitely going to be able to play, you know, some nice solid interior defense. Get some nice blocks on this type of a build. 76 pass accuracy, like I said, you're going to be able to get rebounds and throw the ball up the court. Still get some clean animations with the silver break starter. And then obviously, again, on the offensive side of things, the 95 post control, the Hall of Fame drop stepper. Uh, you know, post it, bin, back down, punisher. You can get some of them big booty back downs. You know, drop step the guy and then yam on him with the 92 standing dunk, having that gold fast twitch and rise up along with that gold precision dunker. So that's our shack build. Let's go in here and check out, see who we got shades of. If we did this right, we should get one of the shacks. And there you see we got the Miami Heat Shaquille O'Neal shades of. So semi mission accomplished there. We also have shades of Clint Capella and Rudy Gobert as well. And the build is called a paint protector, you know, which I mean, pretty pretty solid name for a, a shack type of a build. There's like an interior paint protector or you know finishing paint protector. I don't know post scoring paint protector. I guess that maybe be a better name. But uh, let me know I, how I did on the Shaquille O'Neal build. We still got the shades of, which is what we were looking for. We didn't get the prime Lakers shades of. Um, let me know down in the comments if you've made a build that does have the Lakers. Um, you know Shaq shades of I'd be interested to hear that but uh, again I just appreciate you guys for sticking around I'm really having a lot of fun with these NBA player builds you let me know down below who you'd like to see in some future episodes because I plan to keep these going throughout the month of December and then as you know beyond as we you know get other hot players or, or different things like that going in the NBA so you know, like a like drop a like if you'd like to see some of those subscribe if you're new um, also subscribe so you can get the notifications and definitely go check out some of the other face creations I do have a shack face creation if you want to see that I'll leave a card up here for all of the face creations and the prior builds that we've done in NBA 2k24 if you want to go check those out and that's all I have in this video I'll see you in the next one I'm out peace